My name is Simon Lace, I'm Museum Services Manager for Medway Council. I really enjoy all aspects of the job, but, but it's particularly because the museum is such a great museum. Um, but there's still lots of things that we can improve. So my remit is to try and improve the museum and try and improve the visitor experience, to get more of the collections out, people can actually enjoy them. So it's, it's all encompassing, but it's basically making the Guildhall a much better museum. Um, there's no such thing as a tip of day for me, really, because it's, it's just so very varied. You know, one day I may be looking at um, visitor statistics, uh, and the next I'm helping with displays or helping to develop children's programmes in the summer holidays. So it's very varied, and that's one of the things I really like about it. I think the best thing about it is it, it's the interaction with the public. I've always been very keen on a job that, that has that interaction, that's, that's, that's based on public service, and that's one of the things I really enjoy about museum work. Well, there are lots of, of things that are permanently on display at, uh, at the museums. There's lots of fabulous things to see. And the Hulks, the Prison Hulk experience, is probably our most popular permanent exhibit. Um, but just recently we've opened a temporary exhibition called Stories from the Great War which looks at the personal experiences of Medway residents in the First World War. Um, and that's well worth seeing. And lots of help there from local people donating things for the exhibition. So that's um, on until January. Uh, well, there's lots of unusual things about the Guildhall. Like any old building, it's full of ghosts. Um, the room we're in now has two ghosts. And one of them is, uh, is Admiral Sir Cloudsley Shovel, who was, I think, the MP for, for Rochester. Um, who, I think at least 300 years after his death, can still be seen smoking a pipe on the staircase. Have you seen him? I've never seen him, not yet. I live in hope. 